Hi everyone, welcome back to another mukbang. So today I am making uh, soupy rice cakes. I have all my ingredients here. Oh my god, it feels like a cooking show. Um, I have some cabbage, I have boiled eggs, hard boiled eggs, uh, some fish cakes, pre-made uh, pepper sauce. I added like three spoonful of it, but I do want it very flavorful and very thick. So I'm just going to see how the seasoning goes and I have rice cakes. These were not frozen um, because I knew I made it like a few weeks, like a week and a half ago and I just had some left over so I decided not to freeze it um, and I kept it in cold water for a few hours and it's ready to go. That step is so important because um, you don't want your rice cakes to crack and they're just going to pieces when you just dump it in the hot water or a hot soup. So that's that. I have my sundae. Yeah, I think pork sausages, vermicelli sausages, whatever. I have the boiling right there. Uh, those were the frozen packaged ones. Uh, I used to hate those because whenever I try to cook it and try to cut it, it will always just break into pieces. Tip is to let it cool, completely cool before you cut it. Because if you don't, they're just not going to be intact. Mm. I added a little too much garlic, so it's very garlicky. But it's, it's flavorful enough for me. Let's add rice cakes. And just dump it. Ooh. So Aiden is if you're wondering because i know you guys all love aiden if you guys are wondering aiden is in his bedroom uh he should be tired pretty soon it's almost his second nap time in like 20 minutes or so so but he's been in there for a while because uh he just loves being in there and taking the books out out of the bookshelf he just loves that and i'm sure you guys already know if you guys watch my vlog <laughs> So him and I had a little bit of a disagreement during lunch because I tried to feed him shrimp and I know that he's not He really doesn't like anything too dry or too hard to chew on. So I steamed the shrimp uh, It was a I tried to break it down to smaller pieces So that it's easier for him to chew and I have a side rice with tofu That's like super soft and he usually like that. He didn't want any of it any of it so I ended up just giving him some snack and just kind of end it there. Uh, not too happy about it, but I don't want to like force him to eat. Well, I kind of tried to, but he did not. He did not take that well. <laughs> yeah, I tried. I tried to force it on him, um, but I also didn't want to get a habit of like making him like a new, completely new meal. Um, I want him to understand. I know I'm too, being too harsh. I know, and he's too young. But I don't want to. I don't want him to think that. Oh, because I didn't eat this, mom. You know, mom's gonna make me something that I like. I don't want him to think that or get in a habit of that for him and myself as well. I know, too early, probably too early, and a lot of probably a lot of disagreements on that. But I don't care. That's just how I'm going to go about it. So there's that. <laughs> Uh, and he's probably you know, I gave him I gave him formula and I think if he was completely off of formula I'll be a little bit more concerned that he might oh is he too hungry or is he like not getting enough nutrition but right now he's getting for he's still drinking formula we're trying to reduce a little bit but not by much so because of that uh, I'm not too concerned so if he's hungry he's probably gonna call for me and I'm gonna just feed him a little bit and uh, he's gonna go for a nap if not he should be able to fall asleep on his own he's been doing that pretty well even last night so i'm very proud of him i'm a very proud mom <laughs> so rice cakes looks good i'm going to add oh, i'm going to add uh, cabbage you probably don't see this too often unless it's like soup be rice cakes. I don't know. A lot of restaurants do it differently. I personally like adding them because it just adds extra sweetness to my rice cakes. Okay, let's just add. Okay, this might be a little much. 
I have a lot more here, but these do expand a little bit. So I want to just leave it like that. Uh, okay, I'm going to take my sausages out. I'm going to add some green onions. So I think this piece. I still hear Aiden. He's, he's playing alone. So I've heard like mixed things about your kid playing alone or like having that uh, independent play time. I heard from somewhere that um, in the individual play is great because it teaches the kid how to you know be independent um, and how to problem solve, explore, and all that, but different, like, like a ad that I saw, they said the, the stimulation that a child gets on their brain um, is so much higher and more active when they are playing with their parents or whoever. So I'm just like, is that like different? for different ages or what, you know? I'm gonna add a little bit more water. Oh, I'll, add, I'll add it later. I think this is perfect for me, but for later, I think we do have to add a little bit more broth, but right now it is perfect. I'm going to add my egg. Ooh, this looks so good, actually. I am very, very proud of this, the result. <laughs> Aiden looks like he's gonna go to sleep. He's like so precise on his time. Like, like his, right now he's awake out, right now he's awake hours at like three hours and he's right on the dot. He's 10 minutes away from his third hour of being awake and he looks like he's just trying to like, like put himself to bed. So, which is like really insane. Anyways. But there are days where he just, he's very comfortable putting himself to bed. Uh, there are days where I, he needs my help, which I have no problem with. So if he ends up crying, I'm just gonna step out, step away from the camera real quick and then help him fall asleep. No problem. Beauty of freelancer, Entrepreneur, mukbang, creator, YouTube creator. Okay. Voila! You guys see this? Yum, 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 yum. Okay. Well, you guys get to see the side camera. Mm. Mm. I feel like it still needs like 10 minutes. 10 15 more minutes of cooking. Mmm. Mmm. More cabbages for me. Mm. My mind is not completely here. <laughs> that sounds a little stupid. 
but that's because it is not sleeping right now so I'm just like do I need to go do I need to go I'm like kind of happier but I think he's getting there once he's asleep I'll be more comfortable filming I think these need to cool just a little longer and then we're good mm. So this is our Tong and I, our first time ever actually having a budget for our groceries and meals and like eating out and all that. And that's like forcing me to have very. Mm, minimum amount of food in the house and I actually love it because my fridge is so clean like everything in there won't last it'll last about a week and I love that I love how it's circulating fast uh, because before like our fridge was it starts clean and then it just kind of builds up because I keep buying more new food and all the stuff that I previously bought just kind of gets hidden in the refrigerator and eventually we just throw it out because we can't eat it anymore. What a waste, right? Another benefit of doing that is I get to be a little bit more creative with the cooking. I feel like um, before like I would follow recipes and it has to, like the ingredient has to perfectly match the recipe. But now I'm just like, eh, it'll work <laughs> kind of thing. I'm gonna try cutting it. That look good. Should I cut it? Um, I honestly right now I don't even think this is fully like um cold to cut to be cut but mm. Mm. cooked perfectly not the bit of my sauce That's what Aiden does. I think he's sleeping. Let me just double check. And then the, the previous video, I let, I told you guys that um, Tony is opening a restaurant and he's they're very busy trying to open a restaurant from scratch renovating everything, ordering everything. Um, it, it takes a lot of work. It takes, it's very time consuming. Well, he's gonna be busier when the restaurant actually opens because their hours gonna be longer. But right now, um, he's still kinda, you know, he's gone pretty much all day. So when we moved here, we had a lot of things to do, especially because of Aiden. Like I had to mount the baby cam on the wall. I had to install some of the lights because this place doesn't have like attached ceiling lights. So I had to do a lot of like, um, 
hardware stuff or like handyman stuff, handywoman uh, and I love it it's so... it feels great once I get it like done it's the accomplishment it feels great like for the baby cam I think our previous um, apartment my parents house so it was either on a tripod or just on the shelf but I actually mounted it on the wall in his baby room right now it shows almost every corner of his room and I love it it looks great it's very clean I installed the wall mount light for his bedroom I installed the home secure cam around in his uh, play area I, I, read, I heard it somewhere like don't let small things get to you in life when you know it's gonna really hinder you when it's unnecessary the stuff that like, people say without thinking they probably didn't mean anything sometimes it will really get to me no I'm not just talking about YouTube just like in, in general it, it shouldn't let it get to me but I can't help it. I, I just don't think I'm that kind of type of. I don't think I'm capable of doing that because Aiden used to go to like a short daycare that the stuff in the center provided. So, um, so Aiden was like what five months, six months, and they don't. They're. It's not like a full daycare, so they only watch your baby for like two hours at most. I would always get a call like 30 minutes after saying like he's too fussy, you have to get him, which is fine, right? Well, I don't know exactly why he was like that because he's really good with strangers. But this front desk girl would always make a comment about how fussy he is. And I'm just like, whatever. She just saying he's fussy and he is. And then I think this is like towards the last time. Um, I stopped going. I, I wanted to stop because it was just like no point on me going because Aiden would always be sent home after like 20 30 minutes. So, why would I even go, right? Um, that day she was just saying, like, oh, you're just too fussy, you're having a hard time. I was like, oh, okay, it's fine. They grabbed Aiden, and then like I was about to like grab him, and then as she was handing Aiden over to me, she was like, bro, you're just too much. Like, I'm his mom, why would you say that for me? And he's an infant. Of course, he's gonna be fussy. Like, do you like? Do you expect like every child to be like, like quiet and like not cry and like looking for his mom? So I think like I, I'm sure she was having a hard day. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. But when I heard that, I was just like, why would you say that? And like to be honest, like, um, I wasn't upset. I I, I don't think it's it, so. I'm I don't doubt that it is perfectly fine. Like he's behaving like a baby. I don't doubt that. I think it bothered me more that I didn't say anything back to her say as if like I, I, in my head I'm just like maybe I could have told her like hey can you please like watch what you say like in front of me or to him. I think that bothered me more than like what she said. And to be honest I'm glad that I didn't say anything because it was it's not worth it right but Still to this day, I think about that day, I'm like, maybe I should have said something. Because I feel like it's kind of a rude comment to make. It's just something that I would never say. Like, I would never watch someone sit and be like, yeah, you're kissed too much. I just will never say that for another mom. 
very inconsiderate, I think. Whatever. There's another girl that always like call me like sweetie, sweetheart um, after every sentence. Like, oh, thanks, sweetheart. Have a good workout, sweetheart. I think. And like, <laughs> I had mixed feelings about it because I feel like it's something that personally, I feel like it's something that. I would use to a close friend or someone that I know a little better not to my customer but then like if like an older woman wants to call me a sweetheart I think that's fine I think it's kind of cute because you know like if she like to her I might be cute because I'm just it's in her eyes I might be like you're so young and kind of thing so I'm like whatever but she was clearly younger than me she was clearly younger than me but then but then I, I saw that she calls sweetheart to like every mom there and some moms look a lot older and, and she still calls like those moms like sweetheart you know and i'm just like i don't know <laughs> is that the culture difference <laughs> Like, I'm not offended by it. I'm not, like, annoyed by it. It's not like that. It's not to that point. I just find it very odd. <laughs> if I ever call a, another human being sweetheart, it's that's not, like, my family or friends. It's most likely going to be a child. <laughs> this is where I stand. So good, I can't stop eating. Okay, so update. Look how clean this is cutting. Um, update. I am not planning on having another child. Um, and cut it so. Um, I know that. I've been going back and forth on it, but right now I'm like 99% sure I want another child. It's funny, I say 99% because I like still want not because there are just times when so I'm like driving by myself. Ada's not in the car, I'm just driving by myself. I'm like thinking of like boys' names and girls' names. But why am I thinking it? I tell myself, I know myself. I don't want another child. Yeah, I'm thinking of their American and Korean name already. Mm, the sundae is so good. Mm. Mm. I didn't add all of this. You guys, I could eat so much more right now. This is my first meal. I'm doing intermittent fasting. Mm. It actually works out perfectly because I'm usually usually very busy in the morning and I just don't have the time to eat for myself. So intermittent fasting is actually Perfect. <sighs> um, but yeah, I think it, yeah, there's just like a Korean 
girl's name that I thought of if I were to have another child. And it's really pretty. <laughs> I love naming things, people. I think this really turned out great. Mm, thanks for listening to me. <laughs> Just rambling about random stuff. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's mukbang. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.